congrats on Babylon. This film is insane, to say the <laughs> least. If you can sum it up in three words, what would, what would those words be? The Roaring Twenties. Finally, a, 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 perfect, a perfect example of the Roaring Twenties. Now, one of the craziest party scenes I've ever seen was in this film, yeah. and apparently it took 12 days to shoot, so if you are partying for 12 days straight, who are you bringing and what are you bringing for survival? <laughs> oh, um, Chardonnay and a pillow. Chardonnay and a pillow. That sounds like uh, something. And would you bring any one person in particular? Oh, gosh, I guess... If not my kids, then uh, Hannah Einbinder. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, if your character Eleanor would give Deborah Vance some advice, some honest advice, what advice would that be? Start dating younger men. I don't know. <laughs> and how is that new season of Hacks coming along? What can we look forward to? Oh, we're having a blast. Um, well, I had to learn how to drive a bulldozer the other day. Oh. And I had to get bench pressed by Luke McFarland, a very handsome young actor, which was okay. kind of embarrassing. Um, that's all I can think of now. <laughs> so a lot of crazy to look forward to. I love that. Now a theme in this film is being a part of something bigger than yourself. When was there a moment in your career or a project that you've done where you felt like you were truly a part of something bigger than yourself? Maybe when I, my first Broadway play, maybe I thought, Wow, this is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much and congratulations.